So a few weeks ago I was walking home from school and it was in the middle of October so everywhere there were fallen leaves on the ground when suddenly a bus came racing past me way too fast and the huge wind gust it carried with it blew all of the leaves on the ground into my face and I instantly thought damn that was so fucking cool I want to make this in 3D. So I went home and did a bit of research and also tried a lot of things out and today I'm here to tell you what I've learned. I'm here in my blender scene and I made this little environment out of cubes because today I don't care about the beauty of the environment but only about this sense of speed. So we got this little train going through the station but as you can see even though it's going really fast it just doesn't feel like it's going fast. And the first thing we can do to fix this is add motion blur. In blender this is one simple check of a box in the render settings and it instantly makes the animation feel so much faster. Here you can see that I also added a lot of lights on the train. This just helps emphasize the speed even more when motion blur is activated. When you have lights on the moving object, it's also very helpful to add pillars or other objects in front of it, cause this flickering shadow that it produces also emphasizes the speed even more. The next step is to add camera shake. If you're working in Blender, I'm gonna link you the Ian Huber tutorial where he explains it very well in the description below. But with the camera shake it's very important that you don't go overboard with it. Because especially when you get motion blur activated, the shot can easily become a blurry mess and then it's just gonna look shitty. But if you found the correct amount, I think it just adds so much more force and power to the object that's moving. The next part to create a sense of speed is blowing particles. This can either be leaves or dust or any other thing. In my case I just made these red planes which should represent leaves. Then I made them into rigid bodies and then added a wind source to the moving train. If you're interested in a more detailed explanation, I'm also gonna link another tutorial in the description below, which perfectly explains it. This step can take a while, but I think it absolutely pays off because the result just makes it look so much better. Now the animation is already looking pretty good, but there's one final step missing, which is also one of the most important steps. And it is of course the sound. You can of course go outside of your house and record your own sounds or you can visit a website like freesound.org for example. That's exactly what I did and in my video editing software of choice I just added this sound to the animation. And now if you followed all of the steps your animation should feel a lot faster. Thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. I hope you could get some use out of it and I wish you a great day.